everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 8 to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I know this is a bit of a cop-out, but I decided to uh, shoot the moon off camera, and when you hit it, it explodes and creates a pathway that leads over to the right. The reason I did this off camera is because chances are I would miss constantly, and you'll have to see like a couple minutes if I never edited it out. But knowing me, when I'm not recording, got it on the first try. Damn the L Pierce curse, am I right? So by hitting the moon, you create a pathway to Mario Star. And sadly, it does not make you invincible. For some reason, it only works for Mario, not Luigi. If it was Luigi Star, maybe you'd get invincible, but this is Mario Star, so you have to learn to deal with it. So now that I got all five items, I should go pay Madame Clairvoya a visit. I mean, it's practically required. Just to make things a little easier for yourself, in fact, I think it's mandatory for the game. Yeah, it is mandatory. You, you might as well just get it out of the way. Also, if you're worried about hearts, I don't know if I mentioned this, but in case I did, I'm going to mention it anyway. If you go to the nursery over on the uh, second floor near the beginning of the mansion, well, you just go up the stairs and go left, go to the nursery where you fought the first boss, go to the drawer, you'll get a big heart. Yeah, it's Star. Otherworldly beauty, I know. I don't know what you're doing, Clairvoy, to always get those spirits to come. Must be a gift you have. Ah, the spirits returned to me! I see, I see, I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. What is this? Bowser? How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it. And yet, I see it. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Wait, are you saying Bowser actually died at some point? Ah! Ah, no. The powers leave me. The spirits depart again. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power. But I have given words to what the spirits have shown, so I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, you vacuum-wielding rogue. Ah, finally. I can return in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness in oils. That sounds very erotic. I thank you. I thank you, kind Luigi. Alright, so now she will actually let me suck her into the Poltergeist 3000. But for some reason, she'll resist. Like, if you really wanted to be in the painting, shouldn't I at least be down for like 100 to 0 in seconds flat? No! Oh, damn it. Well, I suppose I can pick up the pearls. And she'll just return to her original position, so I can do this again. I was hoping to get it all in the first try to see if I can get the big pearl, which of course is more monetary value than regular pearls. But I guess we can finally find the boo here. Yeah, there's a key, so of course you had to do this in order to progress. Makes perfect sense, and we're going to the third floor. But first... Hi, I'm Luigi, I mean Booigi! Huh, Booigi, eh? How come you're not wearing any green? You're the worst Luigi ripoff of all time. A special bit of information. You know about elements, right? Anybody will tell you they form a triangular relationship. Which is to say, water beats fire, fire beats ice, and ice beats water. <laughs> Get me? What, is it supposed to be like Fire Emblem all of a sudden? We got triangular weaknesses? Hmm. Keynote. I'll still never Let's Play a Fire Emblem game. I have played a Fire Emblem game once. I think it was the GameCube one. I forget the name. Because that game and the Wii one have very similar names. I do not do good at tactical games where you can lose a character forever at all. I like a little bit of mistake forgiveness. But anyways, I should return to the courtyard just to clear it up. 
For some reason, it still shows as unclear. These guys can be a pain in the ass, because these are the only ghosts you have to deal with. You know, the ones that hang around. And once you take care of all of them, you should clear the courtyard. But you don't get a key here. That is why I probably never bothered to clear the place the first time. Even though you kind of should, just to get it out of the way. I mean, all you'll get for clearing the courtyard is money. And a bit of completion, so I guess it counts towards that. So you might as well just do it. Sadly, you just gotta hope for these ghouls to show up. But at least they're very easy to get, and don't offer a lot of token resistance. Are they all hanging around the same tree? It's easy to be crowded, wouldn't you agree? But at least now we'll get the chest, and I believe it contains money. But hey, I could use a bit of money now and then. Doesn't everybody? It's the economy, man. Sometimes you just need to bogart all the money you can while everybody else suffers and wipes out their entire families along with themselves. Okay, that, that, that sounds very insensitive. I apologize for anybody that has been upset by that latest comment. But, you know, I really hope everybody can get some bit of money for themselves to make ends meet now and then. Wouldn't hurt. I mean, why would you complain about money? Unless you were like Scrooge McDuck and you dove into a pool of water and broke your bones. That's not the way it works in real life, man. If I dove into a pool of water, I would hurt myself. But anyways, that's a foregone conclusion, so what I should do is go to the third floor. I'm going to ignore those bats, believe it or not. I ignore these guys as well, I don't want to deal with their crap. Today or any day. You, however, I will deal with. So now I can actually get in here. Uh, what room is this? Safari room? Okay, so that's water, so therefore I'm going to need ice. But where did I see ice? Wait, I remember now. It's much further back, unfortunately. So I'll have to go back to, say, the tea room to get ice. Hey! A sapphire! I want it! Bats have no monetary value. And they take some of my money. Well, they have negative monetary value, seeing as how one of them actually hit me while I was holding a sapphire. Like a little jackass that it is. So for that, you get sucked. Come on. There might have been another room, but I figure the tea room is a little bit more reliable and obvious to me. Nobody would think to look for ice in the tea room. I don't understand it because, well, maybe if you're serving iced tea, I would understand. But I don't think this mansion was meant to have, like, a spot of iced tea. But come on, they're high class. At least I think they're high class. I mean, if you have a mansion with, like, three floors or more, you definitely gotta be high class. You don't have a mansion for iced tea? Come on now, let's be realistic here. So let's try to find this water elemental ghost again. Oh, there you are. Oh. oh, just need a little bit more. Okay, you cause the earthquake effect. There. At least I think that was a water element, so it might have just been a regular ghost that causes a bunch of earthquakes. You'll find big bulky ghosts too. Nope, this is water. God damn it. I do a nice chunk of damage though. So I better not lose all my ice. Ice is precious, you know. Oh, I got away. That's gonna cost me some valuable... Uh... Damn it! Wait, did I just get through the weakness already? Okay, because I took out the uh, water core, I should be able to use my light now. And nothing else. Got it. 
I know, it's been like several videos in and I'm still trying to understand the fundamentals of, damn it, Luigi's Mansion. But it's not a game I absolutely study to of utmost importance. Unfortunately, I gotta be dealing with multiple ghosts here. And some of them can still hurt me while I deal with the other. Not to mention the banana peels are going to be an issue in their own right. Don't slip on a banana peel. Don't slip on a banana peel. Just take care of this ghost. You slipped on a banana peel. Damn it, Ouija! Can you at least get the hearts before it disappears into the great unknown? Oh my god, you are the worst. How do you manage to disgrace yourself like this? I am going to die here if I keep this up. And that's pretty sad, given how well I'm doing to at least take out a couple ghosts, and then I still manage to botch it. That's a great Mario Brothers disgrace since dying in the Yellow Switch Palace of Super Mario World. All you had against you was time, man! Seriously, how could you botch it? Well, at least the poltergeist getting plenty of potassium. All these banana peels, and finally, this room is clear. Alright, we've got ourselves another key. That's beautiful. And where's it gonna take us? Oh, still on the third floor. So it looks like I have to go left and then go to the end of the hallway. Beautiful. But first. Is there a boo? Little boo peep lost sheep. Well. Then just order some new ones. You can't come to me for all your problems. There's just some problems I cannot fix, you know? I think there was supposed to be a cheese over here that I missed. Yeah, the mouse is not gonna come if there's light. Because it's a ghost mouse. But I suppose there'll be another chance. I mean, the lights are gonna get dark again, spoiler alert. But I mean, this game's been out for years, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about most everything in this game. You can't stay away from me forever, man. Oh my god, this is gonna be frustrating. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, this is one thing I hate about Luigi's Mansion. It's like, these boos are absolutely tedious! It's like, why bother to keep trying to go from room to room when you're at less than half health, or maybe around just 25% of your health, you just stay around and probably try to attack me. That would make things a little bit faster. I'm loving the invention! Not loving that I have to deal with booze on a constant basis. Good thing I think there's only 26 left. So let's see where this takes me. Oh god, this part. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun here, said no one ever. There's a lot of booze, which is nice. However, that scaredy cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. Alright, booze, let's assume our real form. But first, how about giving him a, a little scare? Anybody that's played Luigi's Mansion, including myself, know exactly just what's going to happen and I don't think anybody looks forward to this by any stretch of the imagination it's the third boss of the game but it's the most painful boss in the entire game Bulossus anybody that's fought Bulossus in Luigi's Mansion knows the true meaning of agony look up agony in the dictionary this boss shows up front and center. The music is neat though. So to damage Boo losses, you have to like uh, suck him up with your poltergust. But that's not all you gotta do. Now I gotta try to get an ice elemental and for some reason... The oh god, the ice elemental goes all the way over there. Now you actually have to use ice to freeze every single one of these boos. You might think it's gonna be fun, oh yes, that's a very simple boss. Not true! Later on, it gets insurmountably harder. 
Because now the boos, whenever you have very few left, will try to avoid you. You know what that means? You gotta be chasing them around constantly, hoping that they'll be near you. And if not, then, well, you're probably gonna risk taking some hits. And, well, you're gonna be here much longer than you would like. This boss battle is an absolute pain in the balls. It, it makes you wish that you had pancreatic cancer by the time you're done. And that's how bad it is. Actually, I don't think anybody would wish for that because that's practically a death sentence compared to any other cancers. Not that I know from experience. They can probably have to wait for the boost to attack and then use the ice. Hope to God you can catch them during their mid-spiral dive. That way you can actually suck them in. Doesn't make the boss any more fun because after a while, they're going to be spread out so much. And some of them might actually attack you off-screen. Which is even worse. Because while you're trying to deal with... Oh my god, they got thawed. While you're dealing with one, the other will try to screw with you. It's so functionally annoying. And such a chore. The worst part is I don't think there's any health lying around. Meaning you have one health bar to make this all work. And if it's gone, then well, obviously you have to do the whole boss battle again. Which makes it even worse. If you can get it done in under five minutes, I'll be very proud of you. Maybe I'll email you a Coke or a fruit salad. I don't know. Maybe if I emailed you a fruit salad, I'd be the greatest jerk of all time. Unless you like a fruit salad so badly. Or maybe you live in a country that doesn't have any fruit at all. Which is possible. I mean, you can get internet before you can get fruit. It's a sad world we live in. But, man. I don't know how many ghosts are left. You probably had to get this dash ready. I mean, you had to get the ice attack on the ready. Because it has a bit of a delay. Oh my god, that should have hit him. Oh my god. Wait, I got one! Oh, I got away. Not to mention, I'm going to be losing a lot of money for every hit I take. Well, not a lot of money, just coins. Thank god you can't lose, like, a sapphire or anything. That would have been the ultimate piss-off right there. I think there's only... Th oh my god, they just fly right into you and you don't even know it. Damn it! I moved and it's still locked into me. That's pretty much what you have to wait for. You wait for them to attack and then go. But some of them are like freaking Nostradamus and know when you're going to attack. You have to sidestep at the last second. Because when you got this thing going, they're actively trying to avoid you. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. It's like, why can't this boo be sucked up without having to be frozen? I mean, I've sucked up bigger boos than this. Why is this one so difficult? Oh my god. Come on. Just give it up! Wait, did I get him? Yes! Oh. Yes, Luigi, I would want to cut my head off with a pair of finger scissors too after this. So we got the diamond key, at long last. Psst, Luigi! Psst. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief! That white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm, you seem to have done some serious work there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? We can have dinner while we gaze at these ghost paintings. Tonight, I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles and a diesel marinade. Sounds deadly. Literally. And Luigi agreed to this. Oh yes, I got a vacuum full of ghosts. Including one that was the ultimate piss-off. Seriously, I don't want to deal with a boss like Kulasas ever again. 
like, when I practiced that boss, I almost died. And I was at, like, three ghosts for the longest time, because I kept trying to get away from me. And the ones I was waiting for managed to hit me every single time, even if I sidestep. So at least we finally got that boss done. I hope you take that portrait and you burn it. Or deface it with graffiti. Do whatever you want. Just don't give it any glory. Okay, looks like we're making a lot of progress, it seems. We're still here. Oh, finally. Time to take a look at my score. Madame Clairvoya. Biff Atlas. Sounds like a poor name. Nana. Sounds like a poor name. Miss Petunia. Slim Bankshot. Henry and Orville. And Bulasis. Sounds like a haunted poor name. For a total of 16 ghosts. Very impressive. Not to mention, that was a lot of booze right there for that one battle. That gives me a total of 35,820,000 gold. Damn. And that gives me 39 out of 50 boos. At least that's one good thing about boo losses that cuts down on your boo totals. Which is obviously good news for us. But first, before I end the video, because I've taken out boo losses, not to mention I have to go back to the third floor, which is where I was at the time, I might want to go back to that seed. Because once you take out boo losses, it would be a good idea to try to uh, get that seed a little bit bigger. So why don't we do that right now, before I forget. Huh, hasn't had any water in a good while. We gotta fix that. There we go. Look at all that money. We even get a gold diamond. These are very rare. In fact, I think there's only two in the entire game. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, it's possibly three. But I'm leaning towards two. And that's one of them, right there. And that's beautiful to get. So, why don't we stop the video here, and in the next episode, I'll meet you back at the third floor. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.